I am Craig Jabeir. Uh, my company is called Marble Art Originals and uh, we specialize in marbling onto any natural fiber with our paints. These paints are non-toxic water-based paints and they are loads of fun to uh, play with. So here we have our, our marbling inks. Um, they are water-based paints. They are non-toxic and child-friendly. And we're going to drop our colors onto the mixture floater liquid, which we have in our sets. Um, this liquid is non-toxic and once mixed with water, it lasts between three to four months if you refrigerate it. So um, on goes our inks onto the water. They will spread out in a certain fashion. The designs that we create are one-off unique prints on every occasion. Um, these paints don't mix at all on the surface of the water. So uh, as they drop onto the water, they create their own space. So on this occasion, we're going to basically be designing a flower or floral design by dropping the colors in the center of the tray. We're going to print this onto a piece of fabric. Now the tools we use is uh, your basic uh, toothpicks and a comb. And to create your floral design, you want to draw the paint to the center of the tray. And that's pretty much it. And there you have a flower design. Now you can add to that flower design by doing all kinds of vari variations. There you have a unique one-off piece of artwork which you can captivate into a piece of fabric. On this occasion we're going to use some cotton. So as soon as it touches the surface of the fibers, it stains the fabric. And when you pick it up, it brings up all the paint into the fibers. And this is completely stained. So there's no running, bleeding or smudging with this paint. And uh, that's what we can achieve on fabric. If you iron that fabric once, you can wash it. So let's show you another print. Let's show you onto a tile. We'll change the design slightly by using completely different colors. So we have a base foundation color first, which covers the surface area of the tray. Now this tray is the lid of the kit. Now I'm going to use my finger and flick paint onto the surface of the water. Now this is called a stone effect. Now all I'm going to do is use a toothpick and link up all the circles. This is called freestyle or plain doodling really. So I'm going to just draw all the way through. And there you have a very unique design in itself without any fuss at all. That's just beautiful. All right, so we're going to print that onto a uh, tile. Now the tile is obviously 3D, so you can submerge the tile up to the edge by dropping it in slightly deeper. So on goes the tile at a slight angle because you don't want to print any bubbles, yeah? So you push it until you want to go to and there's your tile that is absolutely fantastic but that'll stain in a few seconds we'll leave that to dry over there now this is gorgeous this is excess paint we can use now for a lovely card just by manipulating the paint slightly <laughs> And we'll print that onto a basic card. Now cards vary in, in, in density by choosing a card with about 160 grams. Um, that'll, print, that'll keep the paint from uh, smudging the, the surface of the paper. So this is a card you, you can print on your printer. Um, after you've done that, you can give it a background color by using your excess paint left over in your, in your tray. So 
that is your card. One of the unique piece of artwork again. Okay, so that's onto paper. So we'll put that over there. Now, what do we have left? We can use this. This is very easy to use. I'm going to zigzag up and down this way. I'm going to zigzag up and down this way. And I can basically print another card. Now that is just lovely soft effects. We're going to print the other side of that paper by placing the paper onto the surface again. Just roll the paper slightly so that you avoid bubbles. And there we have your print.